Hello everyone, welcome back to our Dalmanica channel. I received this box today and I'm going to open it and I'm so excited to see how she looks like. This is a little darling BJD and I received this one a few weeks ago but something was off on her so I returned her to the artist and she arrived today. So. I hope that everything is okay with her now. All right. And she came with the same box that we used to ship her because we used these fragile. Please handle with care on every corner of it or side of it. Okay, so what's going on? Why is it hard to open? There you go. Boom. Okay, so she's still wrapped the same way that we shipped her. And okay, so here she is. It says Studio Doll Keepsake Collectible Original Artist Design. So this is by Diana Efner. <coughs> Little Darling BJD, and she's painted by um, Magalie Dawson. And there she is. Oh, she came back exactly the same way I shipped her. So I shipped her in a white outfit and white socks and um, yeah, all white because I wanted to make sure that she's not going to be stained. And here she is. Huh, looks like there's something different about her. All right, so let's remove this one. Remove the bubble wrap. I'm gonna remove the socks. Okay, let's see how she looks like this time. Oh, she, look, she looks way better now. And looks like her see there she is looks like her then her eyebrows change looks like her eyebrows are now darker was it or is it it looks like it let's see there's a little white at the corner of the lip I don't know if this video can capture it, but in this one, but she looks way better than how she looked like when I first um, received her. When I first received her, there were like white stuff, like dry skin looking stuff on her face and on her body. So I contacted the artist and the artist said um, it has something to do with the sealant and sometimes it happens and I was so scared to fix it myself so I returned her to um, Magali and she was more than willing to redo her and here she's now um, I'm gonna go and get her wig and uh, see how she looks like there's something different about her face I love the way her eyebrows are look at that and the best part are the eyes how realistic the painting is and I think that's the reason why these little darling BJDs are really um, sought after. Or not just the BJDs, but also the little darling vinyl dolls because of the way their eyes are painted. And I think that's the trademark of uh, Diana Efner, how she taught her artists to paint the way she does. It looks so realistic and so alive. And she still has the white... Thing that I also put here I put all white to make sure that she will not be scratched she will not be stained so her body I see a scratch on the belly 
but I think resin dolls are prone to that. I'm not going to return her just for that. I just want to make sure that she's okay. So I'm going to remove her outfit. Make sure that she is okay. All right, so I don't see, there's still a little white there, a scratch there, but there's no more white dry skin looking stuff on her body. And a little tiny, tiny, tiny mark there. Yep, I, I'm happier with her now. I love the way her hands are painted too. Look at that. I mean the fingernails. Wow. Look at the detail that the artist is doing. Oh wow. I love her way better now. Okay, I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna go get her outfit. And her wig, I mean. Okay, so I have her wig here now. This is her original wig. And there's Magalie's um, signature and the date, February 2022. And I also noticed there's also blushing on, the, on her ears. And her toenails are also blushed. Oh, that's beautiful. That's oh, beautiful. There she is standing. <laughs> oh, she's very pretty. Look at that face up. Gosh, it's just gorgeous. She's got turquoise eyes. Thick eyebrows. Seems like the eyebrows changed from the previous one when she first arrived. Or maybe it's just me. The lips definitely changed. Because um, the artist told me that she's going to have to repaint the lips. I love her lips still. Oh, she's beautiful. So there she is on her original wig. I'm curious to see how she will look like on a different wig. I'd like to check that out. And here she is with black wig and a hat. And look how beautiful she is. She's wearing um, an outfit made by a seamstress, so I don't know what, who made it, but I think there's a tag on that outfit. But she's very, very beautiful. Look at those eyes. Beautiful. And here she is um, wearing a wig by F&B Patsy Ann. And, or F&B Patsy. And uh, her dress is from Hearts for Hearts Girls Dolls. And her shoes, uh, these are Paula Reina doll shoes. So this looks like she can share outfits and shoes and wigs with other dolls as well. Oh, she is very cute on this one. She looks so young. She's younger. She looks younger than the other wig that she has, the original wig. Wow, very pretty. Very pretty.
she is now wearing a Monique wig and this outfit is from a vintage Betsima Cole and the Goldilocks one is by Pauline Bijanis. So I just borrowed the outfit from different dolls and put together and she looks absolutely stunning on it. There she is. Adorable. And here she is with another Monique wig. Beautiful. This doll you have to be very careful in handling her because she can fall easily. So she's not as posable as the other BJDs when it comes to standing positions and stuff like that. So just be very careful when you're handling one like this. And here she is, lying down. Ah, oh, she's really very pretty. And here she is with her mohair wig. Holding an apple and sitting down. I think I like the F&B wig best on her because she looks younger on the wig but she still looks very pretty on all the wigs that she used but for now I think I'm going to keep her with the uh, uh, F&B wig yep she's so much fun to dress up and photograph and take videos of very very pretty very very pretty thank you everyone for watching and i hope you enjoy and i hope that you love her as much as i do because she is really 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 adorable